Hey, HPP Johnson, Big Bill. Uh, I'm sorry, but you've missed a bit. There, there, there. Oh, all over. Um, and the uh, lo loft hatch has been put in and uh, the plasterboards have been brought up. Uh, I um, pulled, once I'd done the loft hatch, I um, was able to pull down, the, uh, make sure you've got old clothes on, a mask and goggles um, when you pull down the whatever it is. Um, if it's lath and tiled, um, um, felted, if it's felted, you do well. If it's not felted, be it, you're opening to the elements. Um, so, you've got a precaution for you. Um, if you decide, um, the type of plasterboard I've used is a, a silver ba a foil backed. I've got some spare here. Yeah, there we go. Um, normal plasterboard and the foil on the back. What it does, uh, what it'll do for you is a lead insulate. It's insulate. Well, I cannot speak with it, didn't it? Insulate. And um, then if there's any water seepage, it'll go down into the bits that you haven't put plasterboard and if you see uh, scrub tape uh, and I did see uh, some here uh, uh, you get in large and I've got a lot of my stuff from screw fix so get your stuff from screw fix it's very good for price and everything uh, plaster like I'm from screw fix and um uh i for, for the year um filler sorry screw fix um plaster i use uh, once i put my scr scrub tape on spread it over ta all the screws um so i put it over these screws make sure they're put pushed in put it down the um this edge here and it would be fantastic and cover up this and then if you notice there I've uh, cut made it so that there's a door and I haven't cut it out so that there's no wind uh, cut it out late um, then I uh, uh, scrub taped it and then plastered it with the multi finish the multi finish is the best one the bonding is more expensive, but the multi finish is really good because you can, um, you don't have to use a bottom or anything. You can wear use it anywhere. You can use it like a filler, whatever. And um, if you notice, I'm not that good. <laughs> uh, I've got better. I've got, but um, if you're doing a ceiling, do pay someone to do a ceiling um, like this. Being in the loft, it's not worth paying, paying someone to do a ceiling in the loft unless you want to use it as anything. And if you're going to use it as anything like a bedroom, you need a window in it as a fire exit. Um, and then you're OK to use it as somewhere to sleep uh, because the window is a fire exit then. And if you could slip as you're going down the loft ladder and down there. So the fire um, uh, fire regulation, you need to get a uh, window in. Uh, if you don't, don't sleep up here. Uh, I had hardboard on the ceiling and all over. Uh, I uh, This is the hardboard. I've got to get a skip and put that in. Um, this, is, this is where I put down around the thing um outside um stuff cut it down make it the right size make it the right height uh, you'll find out the right height on the internet and you just go around like that um and i put it on the side so that i've got um i've like cupboard, cupboard, 
covered it like three times and um, I actually did um, as you can see here um, I put, joined it together used a piece of wood to join them together and um, if you notice there's a line here and a line here the, there's pieces of wood that, on this one uh, that go from the floor to the ceiling and um, uh, they're fantastic because they can, you hold your plasterboard in place um, so after doing the um, uh, ceiling and I've got spare plasterboard so I thought what should I use it with and I thought may as well use it I can have that I've been watching um, Love It or List it that many times I've um, done this and uh, and you can close the door, get under the eaves. You don't have to plaster board it or anything. Tough. Uh, done everything now, haven't I? Oh, I put a. Uh, I made sure that the electric was fantastic. And to move electric, use the large block for. Um, um for normal electric uh, like the plug and small ones okay for lights and if you're doing that make sure that you um if you've got a uh, fused box with the fused wire get it changed straight away before you do diy do not use it go go near any electrics with or don't change light switches or anything get a qualified electrician in change the box to a trip switch then if you get an um, electric shop go straight off sort it then an ambulance comes in to just get you going again um, and um, try and use new stuff where you can like new cabling and uh, don't use the old stuff try and get new cabling try and get the right size cabling for what you're using light lights and that and try and get something a bit oversized sometimes um like um there's my double plug i put in um what i did was i uh, ran a cable down to the uh, little bedroom and you can turn the loft off so you're not going to have a uh, fire when you closed it if, uh, from your electrics if you've done it bad or good uh, I put, put up my train up here uh, so the because um, these could overheat and cause a fire um, I've got this here this extension and I need to make a double socket there really um, this extension uh, you could um, make a fire and try and think fire and try and think electric shock uh, safety first um, every time every time you're thinking safety think safety when you're doing your loft uh, because that's the only way down uh, I'm putting a, a loft light there uh, so it gives you that straight down light like a a tunnel of light downstairs um then we might have one over there but i'm gonna get a few looks put there um and change this light because i was looking over there and i can't <laughs> anyway we're done now aren't we and you've got loads of uh, off cuts as well because you, you end up having loads and try and stagger them like i did there try and make it staggered and uh, try and make it good um, I used the 1b2 here uh, up to here and then a new one across here and then and I can feel the draft here um, and then uh, uh, you've got the uh, just cut it out later um, uh, that's it now really and uh, you've got a nice big hole here and luckily enough I had something that was strong enough to put down and it kept me safe uh, when I did over here 
and I was I was so scared. And that's the big build. Well, I'll bring you back to I've got to do we're doing the kitchen. Uh we've got the big build kitchen and we've got the uh, the rest of this. I'll see you later. Bye.